how did you do? Let's see if we've spotted similar things. I'm gonna pick some things out that I've noticed. So the first thing is this person sitting in the center, sitting on what looks like a throne. Can you see it's sort of yellow colored? Now they're holding this orb with a cross on the top and this long pole here. They're also wearing a crown and a cloak with this sort of spotty trim. Now there's some writing above their head, isn't there? And then there's this tree with some strange creatures in it. Can you see these birds? There's one, two, three. And then this bearded figure here holding a shield and what looks like maybe a club in his other hand. The top, there's this huge rose. It's got a massive crown on the top. I wonder if you spotted anything else. How about the material this document's made out of? If you look at the top corner, it's kind of bumpy rather than smooth, isn't it? Also, we can see that this is part of a larger document. There's some writing on the edge that we can't see the rest of. So this is part of something much bigger. Also, this bit of writing at the top is gold. So does that mean it's a very important document? Now thinking about the colours, we've got the gold, we've got the red, we've got this sort of yellow colour that we spotted earlier. And is there some blue on the branches? But the rest of it's quite plain, so I wonder if it's finished or this is what it was meant to look like. Now, finally, would you spot the code at the bottom? It starts with a K. I wonder if that stands for King, perhaps? So we found lots of interesting details in this document, haven't we? You've probably come up with some questions as well. So when historians investigate a document like this, they begin in the same way we have. Once they have lots of evidence, they start to make suggestions about what the document tells us. So we can do this too, working just like historians do. So have a go at using some of the evidence you've collected to suggest who this person is and what all the details represent. Click on part three when you're ready to move on.